Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have a simple graph, a relationship between x and y, and the graph is that y squared equals 2x cubed. So it's not quite like a typical parabola, but it kind of looks the same. Here we see that when x is equal to 2, y would be equal to 4. But now what they're asking for is they're asking for the change in y with respect to time, the rate of change of y with respect to time when x is equal to 2 and x is changing with respect to time at a rate of 0.01 per second, whatever the units are. Wow, the rate of change with respect to time, there's no t at all in our equation. How do we do that? Well, we simply take the derivative of both sides with respect to time, because notice we're given some information about how x changes with time, and from that we should be able to figure out how y changes with time. And that's what we're looking for here. That's what they're asking for. All right, let's take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to time. So we're taking the d dt of the left side, as we would say. So the d dt of y squared is equal to the d dt of the quantity 2x cubed. So how do we do that? Well, watch and you'll see. So we take the derivative of the left side, this becomes 2y dy dt. Now, how does that work? Well, think of it this way. If we had something in parentheses squared, we would then take the exponent, put it in front, then put the new exponent down, so this is 2y to the first power, then times the derivative of this quantity with respect to time, so that's where we get the dy dt from. Normally, if we take the derivative with respect to x, we wouldn't have to do that because we simply write dy dx and then on the other side we have dx dx and that's not a problem. But here we have to make sure that we write dy dt. And on the right side, we can then say that this is equal to, bring the exponent down, that would be 6x, 1 less than the exponent squared, times dx dt. So you see that we get a dy dt on the left side and a dx dt on the right side. Now we go ahead and we're going to isolate dy dt because that's what we're looking for. So we multiply, or no, in this case we divide both sides by 2y. So we get dy dt is going to be equal to 6x squared divided by 2y times dx dt. And of course the 6 and the 2 simplify to dy dt is equal to 3x squared over y times dx dt. And now we're ready to evaluate this, because now what we want to do is we want to find dy dt when x is equal to 2 and dx dt is equal to 0 0.01. But we still have a y here. Well, that means that we have to calculate what y is equal to when x is equal to 2. And of course we graphically gave that away already, but let's do it anyway. So y squared, or I should say y, is equal to the square root, so we take 2x cubed, take the square root of that, so we're taking the square root of both sides, now we get the function uh, as y here, and now we plug in a 2 and we get y when x is equal to 2, is equal to 2 times 2 cubed, and we take the whole thing and take the square root of that, 2 cubed is 8, times 2 is 16, so that's the square root of 16, which is 4, which of course is what we wrote there already. So now we can plug everything in there as follows. So let's move up here, and now we can write that dy dt when x is equal to 2 and dx dt is equal to 0 0.01, and that's going to be equal to, now we plug in everything we have, we have 3 times 2 squared, from over here, divided by y, which is 4, times dx dt, which is given to us as 0 0.01. So this is equal to 4 divided by 4, which is 1 times 3, so we get 3 times 0 0.01, or 0 0.03, and of course that's whatever units per second. That would be our dy dt when x is equal to 2, and x is changing with respect to time at a rate of 0 0.01. And that means that y is changing at 0 0.03, which means that y is changing three times as fast as x. And that's what that is telling us. And that's how it's done.